Now to the latest in the Israel-Hamas war. Israel says it's launched 400 airstrikes on Hamas targets in Gaza in just the past day alone. And the UN is warning of catastrophic conditions for Palestinian civilians who are displaced in Gaza and in danger. We have team coverage here this evening, the live report from Tel Aviv, and also here in the city where families of hostages spoke at the UN today. Let's begin with CBS 2's Tina Kraus. She is live in Tel Aviv for us. Tina? Dick and Christine, Israel's military dropped flyers on Gaza today, offering cash rewards to Palestinians who give up information on hostages held by Hamas. And as Israel's aerial assault intensifies, Gaza's health ministry says more than 700 Palestinians died in Israeli airstrikes overnight. If that's the case, it would be the highest death toll in 24 hours since this siege began. As Israel ramps up airstrikes, casualties in Gaza are rising, and the struggle to move aid into the Hamas-controlled territory is growing. We're running out of stocks of uh, water, food, medicines. Terror has gripped the region since Hamas's October 7th attacks on Israeli civilians. Yocheved Lifshitz, one of the two elderly hostages released Monday, said she went through hell, and her daughter says the family's nightmare isn't over. We do not know from my mom's story what happened to my dad. We do know that he was injured. The faces of the missing are plastered on this wall near Israel's military and defense headquarters, a reminder of what's at stake. Where is the outrage? Where is the revulsion? Saturday. At an impassioned U.N. Security no Council meeting, there. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called for yeah. universal condemnation of Hamas's terrorism but and the immediate release of hostages. I implore every member here, use your voice, use your influence, use your leverage to secure their unconditional and immediate release. The mental toll of the war is almost inescapable, even as Israelis here in Tel Aviv try to find a moment's peace. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We heard no bombs in the distance as we spoke with Daniel Amigol, who came to the beach to clear his head. Daniel Vask and his family left their home in southern Israel to get farther away from Gaza. The kids are going to um, difficult time. He says Hamas should know Israelis won't back down from a fight. After the Holocaust, we built this country. So imagine what we will do after what happened. Israel has vowed to destroy the terror group in a looming ground invasion. The U.S. remains deeply concerned about the potential for attacks on U.S. forces serving across the Middle East. Just over the past week, militants backed by Iran have struck U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria. Dit, Christine? All right, Tina, thank you.